Hey guys, what is going on? Happy 2017. I hope your New Year's was amazing. I was kind of in bed by 7 o'clock because, well, I'm an old lady and I just don't celebrate New Year's anymore. Whatever. Just a new number, right? Um, I wanted to make a video specifically to kind of touch up on the one headset setup while streaming and being able to play on your console. Now, this is going to be tailored specifically for the Xbox. When I get my hands on the Remote Play app for the PlayStation, I will be able to kind of mess with that a little bit and then I will make a video later for you for you guys that have a PlayStation 4. So this one is specifically tailored for the Xbox users. Now you will have to have a Windows 10 PC uh, in order to have the Xbox app that comes pre-installed already on the operating system. And so I'm going to kind of show you what exactly you need to do and why you may want to consider uh, using the Xbox app for streaming if you're looking for that more contoured control in terms of a one headset, you know, setup instead of having a whole bunch of um, maybe like the Elgato chat link or maybe you don't have an Elgato, which is like at least $150 or maybe you just don't want to have so many things coming out of your head and plugged in. You just don't want all the cables. So I'm going to show you exactly what you need to do to get this set up. And so yeah, let's get into it. Now there's probably going to be a question that you guys might have, like why would I want to use the Xbox app? What What is the purpose of it? When I first started getting into the Xbox app, it was really to capture the party chat. I have the original Elgato, and in order to capture the party chat, I have to run, I have to order a special cable uh, to pretty much get my get an analog signal in order to capture it. Now if you have the HD60 or the HD60S or the Pro, that's not going to be too much of an issue. You can pretty much get the chat link cable and capture your party chat that way. But what if you talk to your friends on TeamSpeak? You don't want to run extra cables or wiring in order to split the audio from your console to your PC. It's just too much of a hassle. And to be honest, I hate having earbuds underneath my headphones. It is the most uncomfortable feeling in the world. So what do I do? I stream just the audio from the Xbox app and maybe play on the monitor that I'm using for the gameplay. Do you have to do it that way? No, you don't, but that's something I like to do. In terms of the video quality that's coming from the Xbox app, even at the 1080p, it is a little bit distorted, uh, distorted. There's a little bit of pixelation, so I usually will change the input on my monitor that's going to my console so I get that crisp, clean picture that I'm actually looking for. Um, so, for the most part, I use it specifically just to capture audio. Um, God, I can't even say audio right. I capture audio specifically just for that reason. So how do we get the Xbox to talk to the Xbox app in order to capture the audio or gameplay that we want? Well, if you look at the Xbox dashboard, if you come down to where it says game streaming, right now it says stream Xbox One games now. That's because my Xbox is already on my network and it's talking to the Xbox app. But, you know, hypothetically yours is not going to say that. Well, let me turn off my Xbox here and I will show you. Any minute now. When you first get this set, set up, you're going to see where it says Xbox One connect to a console to start. It's going to redirect you to the next page. And as you can see, mine's already connected. If yours is not connected, what you're going to do is hit add a device. Now, if you get this message, Xbox One not listed, enter your console's IP address. I'm going to make a step-by-step -step tutorial on how you're going to connect your Xbox to the Xbox app. This is going to be a separate tutorial because you're, you are going to have to set, I wouldn't say you have to set a static IP address, but it's dependent on how many devices you have in your house. And preferably static IP addresses just make things a hell of a lot easier for you. So, hypothetically, as long as your Xbox app Xbox app in general is connected to your Wi-Fi on the same network as your PC, right? And you allow it to stream through your settings. It should pop up in this section. Okay. If it does not just refer to the next tutorial as I, you know, post it. So if it, you have a problem exactly right after I post this video, I'm sorry. I will make the next video. I promise. Just give me some time. Hypothetically, say you see it, right? It will then show up right here as a list of devices. Now you can turn on your Xbox from this page. 
All you have to do is click on it. And as you see, the Xbox will power up on OBS here. All right. Uh, and then once you've done that, you will now have the ability to stream. So when this says stream, we're not talking live streaming to Twitch TV or YouTube. It is just directly streaming your screen, uh, the, the gameplay, the audio, everything that you can see on your Xbox to the computer. So when you do this, you can hit stream. I need to sign, sign, uh, sign in. Give me a second. And make sure you sign into your Xbox Live account before attempting to stream. Otherwise, you it won't work. Um, but once you have it connected, there's a couple things you can do here now. You can create your party directly through the Xbox app. And if you want to make a separate account specifically for the Xbox app and then add yourself on your normal profile on Xbox to test the party chat, you can. Uh, although I would recommend if you have another microphone, you know, on your PC to mute yourself. Dear God, mute yourself. So like mute yourself on the PC and, and then only talk into the microphone going into the Xbox. Um, but once you've done that, right, then you can go ahead and launch the game. Now I'm going to start up Infinite Warfare because as you can tell, you can't hear any game audio from my console. But the minute that I actually start streaming, you will see that there is in game audio coming and the actual gameplay coming in. Let's start that. You're going to be prompted with connecting on and then your, your name. And then you're going to be welcomed with this message. There are no controllers attached to this PC. Attach one to either this PC or your Xbox One and press continue. So it gives you the option to keep the controller on your Xbox or port it over to your PC, whatever you'd like. I prefer to just keep it connected to my Xbox because I just... I only use this just to capture audio. That's really just about it. Uh, but you will hit continue. So once you have two pictures on the screen, you can kind of tell the quality difference. The actual streaming quality isn't as great as the default quality when you're just playing on your console. Uh, but if you go in the top right hand corner, it does give you a change quality option. So if you do prefer to, like I have a dual monitor setup. So obviously if I wanted to sit at my computer instead of the living room and play on my TV, you can just, you know, set it to very high and you'll be fine. Now, for Twitch shooters, there's a tiny bit of a delay. Not, it's not huge, but it's, for me, it's just huge enough to annoy, to annoy the hell out of me. So, I prefer to play on the normal input on my HDMI, just so I can actually watch the gameplay real time, instead of waiting for that slight delay. Now, if you're doing a racing game or something that's not real competitive, then there's no problem with it. And then... Just feel free to enjoy yourself. Um, but now for those of you that have an Elgato already connected to OBS, right? But want to capture the audio on your PC instead, there's one thing you have to do or you're going to have an echo. So let me stop the streaming aspect here and give you guys inception mode. Under your mixer, right? You have your desktop audio because you have headphones on connected to your PC. You have the Elgato because the Elgato is connected to your console, to your PC, right? If you're going to use the Elgato throughput, but still stream with the Xbox app, you have to mute the Elgato. You have to, or you will have a echo. And it is the most annoying thing ever because it's ruined several, several of my gameplay footages and I was very upset. So make sure if you in uh, red X, a red mute button with an X indicates that it's muted. If you do not do this, okay, once again, you will have an echo. Okay? So please make sure you do that. Now there's just one more thing you have to do to make sure everything is all spick span and amazing. If you go up here where it says mixer, you're going to click on that little cogwheel and you see where it says desktop audio, slide over to the right where it says sync offset. You're going to set this to 600 milliseconds. And again, this is for those of you that are using the Elgato while streaming to the Xbox app, while streaming to Twitch TV. So if the Elgato is anywhere connected to your PC, make sure this value is set to 600 milliseconds because there is an audio delay. So if I said fire at the same time I shot my gun, that gunfire is going to be late. 
it's gonna be late you're not gonna get it now if you don't have an elgato you can set this value to zero and you shouldn't have an issue but if you do and there's still a slight delay play with that value from anywhere from to zero to 600 and that's all you have to do so that's about it um the next video which i'm going to try to do tonight or tomorrow which the same day i'm doing this video is going to show you how to connect the actual uh xbox to the xbox app um because you have to be able to find your ip address and if you have a lot of devices and your ip address co constantly changes it's going to be the most annoying thing in the world i'm gonna have to walk you through a static ip setting and i'm oh god i'm getting overwhelmed anyways if you have any questions about this video or you have any issues of course feel free to drop me a comment i will respond to you as soon as i possibly can works a little bit hectic right now and so is life but i appreciate y'all uh checking out the video and i'll see you guys next time